in today's video my rate is gonna get some new links all right guys what is going on welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be working on the Wraith 1.9 so if you're not familiar this truck does come with plastic links and they are pretty beefy they hold up we have previous previous experiences if you want to go back to some of our older videos with the original deadbolt we ran that truck with the plastic links for a while but uh for me i think uh any real crawler rig has to have the metal links so we reached out to jj customs he sent us these incision links from vanquish they are the stainless steel really solid links really like these so uh we're going to put these on the truck now, usually I play the mechanic and I do all the wrenching, but today Mrs. Propaganda is going to have to turn some wrenches. I'm going to show her how to, you know, do a couple of things and I'll have her disassemble all these links, get all the links off while I put the links on the truck. I mean, the rod ends rather on the links and then she'll have to try to fit the links on. Obviously, I'm going to have to help her a little bit, but she's pretty smart, so I'm sure she'll figure some of it out, but I figure that will kind of cut the time in half. So I, I assemble the links. She's going to take the links off the truck and uh, we'll get these all on and take a look and uh, see what they uh, look like. And then we're going to have to take it out for a crawl at some point, but I kind of already know what that's all about. This is kind of just going to be the assembly. Um, these links will definitely add that weight down low and just kind of help this truck because if you look here, I mean, these things just, you can kind of just grab them and flex them, which we really don't like. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start getting this truck broken down and I'm going to start putting those rod ends on the uh, incision links. So let's get to it. everything going here mrs propaganda is having a good old time uh we kind of misaligned the hole on the rear here i uh, just had to kind of fix <laughs> that for her but uh it's coming good i got all the links assembled uh, i don't know if you saw me there i just grab it with my shock pliers and what i like to do is just kind of start threading it on uh, they do make something that i would like to get I, I don't know what they call it but you put the link in they can put it on a drill um otherwise they're kind of a pain because you got to try to get those threads straight but uh i got them all on there no problem the pivot balls pop right in so they're good to go how are you liking it you like oh, wrenching or is it better when yeah, i do it i like i like it but i get a little worried to mess it up like i kind of was doing in the back yeah. i got nervous after that you know yeah. well you got no experience so she's never really done anything other than take wheels off so <laughs> 
She's learning a little bit. Yeah. It's good for her. I'm but learning. This is a good first easy mod. So uh, if you're interested in doing this, it's just basically, you know, you take one, you could do one link at a time if you wanted. The only thing I dislike is I really wish they would label the bags, like whatever link it is. You can see like the slight differences on certain links, but like the front and rears, I don't know. I wish they would just label it on the bags. They do, they are separate in the bags, but I wish they would label the bag front lower. Just put a little piece of paper in there rear lower and then you'd be good to go you know but just a small complaint but i've done these before so it's not a big deal but we kind of got our mess going here so all we need now is the one upper link in the front and then our drag links and steering links so we uh we're real close almost so, there yeah almost there so this one goes here right? yeah that's gonna be the uh yeah oh you already took it out yep it's just quick i'm fast so <laughs> All right, so let's finish up uh, destroying <laughs> things. So let's finish these up. After three hours of hard work, just kidding. <laughs> it, <Almost>. was, <laughs> it wasn't that long, but we're getting a little impatient because it's really hot in here with the light on us and everything. We have to have the window shut because it's loud outside sometimes. You never know who's going to start making noise. So uh, it's really hot in here. It's hot outside to begin with. So, uh, But we got everything all done. Mrs. Propaganda did a pretty good job. We had a couple hiccups on the axle part. I really wish that uh, that was like a separate part. You just getting the screw perfectly aligned. Uh, you just got to be real careful with that part. But overall, it's a pretty easy uh, mod to do, and it's definitely well worth it. The truck now has just that little bit of heft you're looking for, and it's all down low with those links. So here they are, looking real good. Stainless steel. Everything's flexing and uh, just doing its job. So um, ah, <laughs> now this truck is... Uh, official to me i really wish they came with metal links but the links that like come on the blazer they're like these really tiny chintzy ones i upgraded them on my blazer anyway so really unless you're going to include like some beefy links uh you know it seems like my hpi my element came with nice metal links so uh, i wish axial kind of did that i have not seen the new ones that come on the sex 10 threes but um, these incision ones, I mean, look at those. Those just look great. So can't really go wrong there. And now Mrs. Propaganda at least put in some work on her rig. And uh, we're going to keep modifying this thing. we got a couple things to change up the looks. Uh, as soon as we find time, we will uh, do that. But, um, yeah, that is it for the link install on the Wraith 1.9. Uh, I'm really digging it. I really like having those links and. Oh man, I'm just super happy with this. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, we are now going to take some of our photos for our website. So if you're interested in seeing some nice photos, go to www.rcpropaganda.com. And also uh, let us know down in the comments what links you're running. Do you like the incision? Uh, Samex, I know, makes some. Do you run high clearance? Uh, let us know. But uh, we really appreciate you tuning in to this one. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel uh, if you are new here. Leave us a like and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.